Good morning. I think it's still morning. So yesterday I um, put a post in the group of um, a reading for the collective that feel drawn to that specific reading. Um, so let me know whether those messages resonated with you. And I'm kind of in a bit of a space at the moment where I'm just doing a lot of uh, channeling and getting back into my um, just reading again. Often I put readings down and I just kind of um, conserve my energy a little bit. But I'm coming back out again and wanting to just share messages with the collective again. And uh, so, so the reading that I posted yesterday felt more like messages for November. So the messages coming through for November. Um, one of the messages that came through in that was how light leads to light and darkness also leads you to light. So both are actually driving you and pushing you and bringing you back towards the light. So I was inspired to, um, yeah, I was inspired by that. I wanted to come on today uh, because Monday means day of the moon. Monday is a moon day. Um, so I wanted to celebrate the moon with you all by offering messages of light. And Monday is a day to celebrate the moon goddess, Selene. And she brings light in the darkness. The moon brings light in the darkness. So I'm going to draw some cards for you and just give you some messages today for your Monday to start your week off uh, strong and positive. Um, know that I always pour an intention for healing to be present during the readings and that is what the readings are for. Um, also as well because we're you know celebrating the moon goddess Selene. I've got Selenite with me. So Selenite is um, Selene, the representative of the moon goddess. It's like a salt crystal um, and it resonates really well with moon energy, womb energy. Hi, Megan. Um, so I have Selenite with me for us. Um, I also have some uh, white sage, which I'm going to, um, I'll just light for us now to cleanse the space. And then I'll get going. I'll get going with pulling some messages for you for this Monday. Of course, if you're watching me live, um, your energy will probably be more present for the reason. But if, you, if you're if you watching the replay, may this uh, resonate for you as well. And of course, if any messages don't resonate, then just, just take what does. You'll get a feeling. You'll be like, oh gosh, that message is for me. And if you're just getting no emotional connection to a message at all, then um, then just leave it. <sighs> so I'll start by just call, pulling um, a Keepers of the Light card. And the one come out straight away. So these are messages for the collective, for those who feel drawn to this video. Messages of healing, love and light. Okay, so we have Krishna, devotion. Um, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognised. You are loved unconditionally. Um, so I don't know whether anyone's been in a similar space as me where they've just had a calling to deepen their spiritual practice. You've had a calling to go deeper in what you do already and, and be in a space of, okay, I'm already spiritual. I'm already doing the spiritual work. My life has turned around. Things are changing for me. But I still feel like I can develop um, a closer connection with the divine um, around me and within me and, and that is my ultimate goal and that's what I want and um, so a lot of you have been deepening your spiritual practice um, whether that's more meditation, more reading, doing more um, mirror work, childhood work, doing more spiritual work to bring you into a space of um, healing and coming back into your true self. But all that aside, this is a card of just celebrating that and knowing that that has been recognized, that you, the extra effort that you've been putting in, um, it may feel like nothing is really happening now, but it is, it is being recognized. It's like, it's like the light beings are there kind of collecting all the data and all the work that you've been doing it's I'm seen as if like you've been doing all the work and you've just handed your homework in and they're just going through the marking process and then they're gonna um pass 
pass your homework back to you with like A stars, um, flying colours. So you're just they're just marking the material and um and your your A star will you'll receive that soon. Um that's really funny. Okay, so that's a that's the beginning message. Thank you for that. And then I'll just pull um a few cards from Healing with the Angels deck. So messages for the collective for this Monday to start their week strong and positive with love, light, encouragement. Hey, one just flew out there. And I didn't know if you saw that, but oh, we got blessings. That's beautiful. So two like two cards of like recognition. And, and this feels in connection to what I just said then around um, receiving the blessing, receiving the A stars, reaping the rewards. I feel like I want to just pull more with this because that's just um, getting to the tip of the message. I'm hearing a lot of people like moving. There's a bit of a Christmas scene here. You know, there's a village covered in snow. So it's all to do with Christmas and um, some cards popping out here. And also, um, so there is like a spiritual message around Christmas where, you know, Santa coming down the chimney is actually to offer gifts, is actually representative of the, the, the milk and honey serum that comes down your spine and awakens, whoo! <laughs> awakens all of your chakras and awakens your gifts so the story of santa coming down the chimney to give you di to give you gifts is actually um a physical spiritual story of what happens at this time of year where the the light um of the christ consciousness is coming down and awakening all of your gifts and as i said that cards just like splashed out everywhere and we got support celebration you love surrender release and just all those colors that just displayed i felt like it was just with the energy of like bursting and awakening gifts um feel free to comment below what you feel your gifts are um you know they don't necessarily have to be like spiritual gifts all gifts are spiritual um but share below you know what what gifts have you been tapping into um lately what gifts have been awakening in you um f for me like one of the things i've been i just push away and reject my la like all of my life is is energy healing and reading and channeling and i i love doing it but then i get to a stage in my life where i'm like no who who am i to who am i to who am i to and then it comes back and then i'm who am i to so that's kind of what's going on for me so share your story with me below i would love to know um oh thank you for the hearts so there's two cards that came out here, um, extending from the message of blessings. So we got focus. So um, I feel that's a message for me to just <laughs> come back in uh, and focus on the messages that forward. Okay, so so even though like this big display of gifts will happen and all these blessings will kind of come all at once, it's kind of like when you're waiting at a bus stop and no buses are coming and then all of a sudden all the buses come at once. Um, it's kind of that kind of energy. But then it's like, this is where the masculine and the feminine energy come into play together because it's like, okay, now all of this has awoken, awoke, awakened, or, or all these opportunities have come forward. Um, how do we manage that? How do I manage that? How do I put this into a structure, a format? I'll show you the card. So we've got focus and you see how he's, he or she is kind of making like a reef of uh, flowers um a wreath again feels symbolic of christmas as well um you put on your you know your crown you wear as your crown so it's kind of like bringing your gifts into a collected manner and um putting them into this beautiful structure to then um offer so there was a, a message that i came through the other day in some research that i was doing where you know the masculine is freedom the masculine energy is it is like this free divine energy and then the feminine energy is like this holding 
and we need that holding otherwise electricity would be shooting everywhere um so so all of the electricity that's like shooting in your in your being or all of the opportunities and electricity that's shooting in your life um it needs this mother energy it needs this holding space uh so this is the grounding energy the earth energy and this connects to a message that came through in the written collective reason that I did yesterday about how, you know, the earth breathes and we get to a place where the, the cosmos expands and then comes together and the, the stars get closer. So all the energy feels really, really potent and can, can like um, it contracts and it feels um, like more things are connected. So you'll, you'll be making more having more synchronicities, making more divine connections, more opportunities will be coming your way. Everything feels really close. So make use of that. I'm also seeing that in, in here, like the stars, the blessings, the miracles are really, really close. Things you've been waiting for, really, really close. So um, we need to contain that and hold that and also really go forth with that. So follow those breadcrumbs, follow those signs. Uh, oh, okay, in the last card, nature. So, um, like I just mentioned, it's about mother energy, grounding. Um, like, I know this message gets repeated a lot, but it's so important for us to to, to physically connect with the earth. Um, and like I said in the written reading yesterday, um, the nature, green nature, is, is the perfect medicine for both the heart chakra and earth root chakra. So grounding in love, grounding in heart chakra energy, it's perfect for that because it's it's both earth medicine and heart chakra medicine. And, you know, I noticed this the other day. So I had an, like, normally my periods are quite chilled out um, and like really regular and quite light. And normally my, like, God bless my womb, I'm fine with my periods. But this month I've been doing a lot of emotional work and um, my womb this year was in so much pain so I was doing a lot of research on womb wisdom and periods and um and don't worry if you know you're a woman that's no longer on their period but blood um carries an energetic imprint of all of your dreams of all of your desires of all of what you've been releasing and all of what you've been um praying upon and the blood is like an amazing nutrient for the earth, a beautiful way to give back to the earth. So when you offer your blood to the earth, you are, you know, feeding and gifting the earth and giving thanks, but you're also planting a physical seed into the ground, grounding in all that you've been imagining and holding in the container of your womb and planting that into the ground. And I, I did that um, on my period this month and it was just... It just felt so amazing. I felt so connected to the tree and the soil where I planted. And when I came home, I still felt this strong relationship with that soil and with that tree. Um, so I just felt to share that with you if you feel moved and called to do that yourself. If that's not your thing, that's totally cool. Um, but this is something that, you know, our ancestors did and the, that is um, celebrated in lots and lots of cultures. But... Um, Back to the message just as just connecting with nature offering back to nature giving thanks to nature so offer what you feel feels right and i don't know about you but yesterday i was just having a huge moment of just gratitude for this whole year has been testing and challenging and has been growing you and you're doing amazing and um and it just feels like actually i want to give thanks for all of that we're making it through we're here um, the 1111 portals coming up soon and me and Esther have a special announcement about that so stay tuned I think Esther's going to be announcing that later on today um, and and I think that's everything so if you would like a personal one-to-one -one energetic tune up um, tune in and energy reading with me and um, for just like you know obviously more personal messages um, then feel free to message me and we can arrange that. So I have a couple of op options of how you can work with me. You can work with me on a one-off basis, just a one-to-one -one basis and have that um, recording and that session with me. Or you can work with me on a long-term basis if you feel that you need a personal um, energetic attunement um, healing practitioner 
in your life. I say healing because you're the healer also. I'm just the channel that allows that to come forth for you. But if you feel that you need that, that sister, that healer, that channel in your life for consistent messages and consistent healing work and emotional work on a long-term basis, um, I also offer, 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 offer monthly packages as well. Um, the, yeah, I just feel so called to offer right now. But um, also last announcement, announcement is there is a beautiful event that Esther is holding in January in London, if you're around, called You Deserve Abundance, which is what's really coming forward for 2020. So it would be an amazing way to start off your new year. And there's lots of amazing um, speakers that are going to be there. I'm going to be guiding um, a healing meditation as well in the VIP yet. And I'm just hearing to stop speaking now, but I'm just sending you so much love. Thank you, Megan, for watching. And thank you for all those who are watching the replay. Have a beautiful week. And yeah, what exciting messages, blessings coming through this week. Harness the blessings, be the container, hold that mother energy in that space, connect with nature, give thanks and make the most of those breadcrumbs and those opportunities coming your way. Loads of love.